Well, hello, 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 hello. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, I am not going to stay long because I've been occupied all day. I haven't been able to log in. Um, but tomorrow I have a very interesting broadcast um, that I'm going to do about time. I don't know why this keeps sticking out. This is like, so funny. Um, yeah. So, it's going to be about time, stop wasting time, and um, to plan. Um, we'll be talking about, about the importance of remaining clear and concise, um, about being bold, being the now. Um, hello there. <laughs> I'm not going to stay long because it's like I'm on call and I don't want this phone to start going off. While I'm on, that's why it's like I kept giving it time to see, okay, is it going to ring? Is it going to ring? But it's got to give me a 15 minutes so I could do this. But I'm really excited about this tomorrow. And, um, you know, it's going to be about time. I mean, just to give you some of it is like I, I started um, posting some of the nuggets, you know, like um, when someone is being courteous, you know, courteous, you know, um, it's not necessarily that they are consenting. So, um, you know, uh, when you're talking to someone, just don't pick up calls to pick up calls to make sure um, that you have an agenda. Make sure that what you're saying is making sense. What you're saying is, you know, concise with what you needed to talk about. So it's like, it's it just like so much information. Um, you know, about time spending, how you spend your time, um, you know, how life is important. Life is, is not just a place you're just passing through so you could go to the next stop, but instead it, it should be um, a gathering of experiences, you know. It should be something that is meaningful. It should be something... Um, that you look forward to, something that you leave behind when you're no longer here. Um, and, you know, s set, up your, set up your time, set up your day when you're waking up in the morning. Don't just wake up to wake up, but wake up with, 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 a, with a goal. Wake up with, with an attitude. Um, you know, like your day starts with you in the morning your day does not start when you get to work when you get to school when you get to the institution when you get to wherever you're getting um to your day start the moment that you wake up so set the mood right when you wake up um you know you get to live and learn in this society in this world in this in this um time you get to live and learn and um, a lot of times, too, we're wasting time. See, I'm giving you everything already. I might as well stay, but this phone just, like, <laughs> keeps me worried, you know. Um, a lot of times, too, we, we, we spend a lot of time doing things that we, we, not that we shouldn't have, but we just put too much time, we invest too much time on something that we should have spent 15 minutes doing. Um, I'll give you an example of how I do that sometimes. Um, you know, I could be doing a coaching and I could be making my point of, listen, this is this is what needs to get done, one, two, three, four. And then, you know, um, the person could just keep on going back and forth after I already gave them, um, you know, one, two, three of what needs to be done. I give them the guidance. I give them... Um, the structure of what needs to be done, and I could keep repeating myself while I know I didn't have to. So maybe, um, you know, like sometimes it could be that you go to the store to go pick up oil or to go pick up bread, and next thing you know, $50 later, you're still in the store. So that's a way that you're wasting time that you didn't have to. Um, the time that you wasted, the, the money that you spent, you could have instead be earning some more money so um i mean just overall just use your time wisely you know don't major in the minor things 
um, you know, you're going to leave and learn. Don't, don't get upset and get mad at things when they're not working the way that you were hoping that they would work out. Um, and constantly evaluate yourself. Don't just go with the flow. Don't just wake up and keep it moving. Don't just, don't just let things be. Evaluate yourself. Double check yourself. Make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Make sure that you're on track. If you said that you were supposed to be um, applying for other job, applying for other opportunities, um, going to school or whatever, like evaluate yourself. Keep checking and 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 see. Did you fulfill what you said? You said that you were going to complete this task at this point, and it didn't happen because you know what. So find out the root cause of why you're not um, com completing. <coughs> excuse me, you're not completing the task as predicted or as planned. Sometimes we could be um, distracted by the noises in our lives, by the noises around us. So find out what is it, what happened that you did not accomplish that task. Why it, are you just starting stuff and run away from them and leave them halfway, leave them a quarter way? Like I've known. Someone like that, that could never finish their task. I mean, I'm talking from cleaning to fixing clothes to getting homework done. Like, just this person just could not think. They could not um, focus. They couldn't concentrate on one task. They had to do 50,000 things at a time. And you know what? Sometimes I do that. It's not for me not to complete the task, but sometimes I get a bit distracted. I could be... Um, you know, I could be in the room, I'm getting my blog ready, and, um, you know, everything is fine, it's quiet, nothing is going on, and I could go to the kitchen and say, you know what, let me go get a, a cup of tea. And while I go get a cup of tea, I, re I, I realized that, oh my God, I didn't put this thing out, or I didn't put this thing together, or, oh my God, I meant to clean the fridge. And next thing you know, I'm like leaving the blog on the bed, and I'm like, you know, completely taken with oh my god let me clean this or oh my god i didn't put um you know my my seafood out or something or whatever it is i could just go and i see something that i just like something i might not like or if i don't like the way that it is or if i think it should be to the left not to the right then you know i could spend some time i could spend like five ten minutes whatever it requires to just do it real quick and then I come back and, and then I I also stay alert because I know sometimes I would do that. Even if I know I'm going to finish what I'm doing because it's like um, I know that I have to publish the, bl the blogs at certain times. So what I do is I would like put a couple hours. I would just sit here and I would just write like four, five, or even ten at a time, and then I would put them in and schedule them so I don't even have to think about them for like a couple of weeks or sometime even a whole month. So, but it does happen. It does happen, especially like, you know, if if you have a task that you always wanted to do, like if you wanted to do the laundry, you know, and you end up like, you start doing something, if you paint, if you, whatever artistic thing you could be doing. And then you're like, oh my God, I forgot the laundry. So then while you go out to get your tea, now you're like, oh my God. So you start putting it together or, sep or let's say they separated already. And then now you're throwing them in the machine, forgetting that you were doing something, you know. And which is not, a, it's not impossible to still get it done. You could just, because sometimes what I would do is I would take my blog while I'm doing it. So then while they're washing or drying or whatever, and I could just go ahead and do it. But it just like, it's funny sometimes, you know, you got to be really alert. You got to pay attention because before you know it, the day is over. So then now you were busy all day, but yet you accomplished nothing or you didn't accomplish anything that was um, on your agenda. So, yeah, you can multitask. I agree. You can definitely multitask if you're able to, because what it is is sometimes we're we're multitasking, but we're not concentrated, we're not focused. So even if you're multitasking, you could be multitasking, uh, and you're accomplishing nothing. You could be multitasking with the fridge. You you do the fridge halfway, or you could spray and get everything out of the fridge, and you never even get, got it cleaned. Um, 
You could have separate the clothes or starting separating the clothes and never got the laundry done. You started vacuuming and then you got a phone call. So you, when you went to get it, you end up starting to clean the desk. While you're cleaning the desk, you forgot that you were boiling your tea. You go back to the kitchen. So now you end up spraying the oven and the stove um, top and start cleaning. You know, while you were doing it, you, you spray and you're waiting for it to to take. So now you... You lean on the counter and realize, oh my God, the counter's getting dirty. Oh my God, I forgot to clean the microwave. Now you start spraying the microwave too, see? So you just find yourself like in the midst of a bunch of things. And now, oh, you know what? I got to pee. So now you run to the bathroom. And after you feel like, oh my God, I forgot to spray the tub. I forgot to... So now you cleaning the bathroom. You know, by the time you get halfway, somebody knock on the door. So now you go check the door. It was the mail. Okay, you picked up the mail. And on your way, you're like, oh, my God, I have to change the carpet up front. So now you're like, shoot, I have to run to the store. Oh, my God. So now you run to the store. Guess what? You realize, oh, you know what? I needed new boots. I needed new shoes. I totally forgot to pick them up last time. So maybe let me go to the, to the other store as well and see if I could get my boots or my shoes. So there you go. The day's over. Did you accomplish anything? No. Absolutely not. But you did touch everything. You didn't accomplish anything, but you did touch everything. You touched the fridge, you touched the stove, you touched the oven, you touched the microwave, you touched the clothes, you touched the bathroom, you touched the floor, the carpet, but nothing got done because you were distracted. So it's definitely important. It's imperative to make sure that if you're doing something to evaluate yourself, to stay alert and ensure that you complete the task, not just doing the task or or talking about the task, but to make sure that you do it. So, as I said, it's like, um, I'm, you know, I have much more, but I'm going to try to just break it down um, tomorrow. I can give you like multiple steps or multiple ideas that come with stop wasting time to plan ahead um you know yeah it, it's just it's a lot it's a lot it, it's very interesting and I would really have to dissect each one at a time and as I said you know it's late at night and I don't want to do it right now um because I've had a very long day but um but in the morning i'm i'm definitely looking forward to it um so let let's see let's see what happens so um you know hey donna hey everybody you tuned in let's see if i could hey colleen how are you hey harika and the <laughs> the bunch of other people that are just like um on the uh, private end hi hi and welcome um, so, you know, let's look forward to tomorrow because, um, then I can give you each one at a time if you, um, you know, if you're able to get a pen and paper, I can give you all the different steps and I think I'll, it, it, it can be so much. I think I'm even going to do part one, part two, and even other parts if necessary. But that's it for the night. I'm not going to stay any longer. Hey, Sylvia, how are you, beautiful? You know, I'm not going to stay any longer. But definitely, you know, start thinking of some ideas of how can you better use your time? How much time are you wasting watching television shows that are not going to bring you anything? How much time are you wasting, um, you know, um, working at a job that you hate? How much time... Are you wasting spending time with people who could care less about your ideas and your plans and your goals? So um, just make sure you surround yourself with people who respect you and um, respect your endeavors, your goals, your plans. Um, don't just go with the flow of just hanging with anybody wherever, with whoever, and not and totally forgetting about you. So you are your priority. You are no one else's priority, and no one will most likely, you know, make you their priority. So you are your priority. Make sure you um, take control and be responsible. And, um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> You're too funny, Donna. So um, let's do that. You know, I'm... I'm 
I have just about everything, you know, I have it ready, you know, for tomorrow, but I, I think um, it would be best if, if, if it is done at a time where you guys are actually awake, <laughs> like better awake. I know you're awake because you're still like on, but you know, when you're in the mood, I could try to do it in the morning again, depending on how my day is, um, getting itself together or, um, we'll see. But, but yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I'll see I haven't set up if I if I find a good time in the morning I'll let you know but oh what just happened oh okay I just touched the screen and it just kind of changed but um I'll figure out a time and I'll I'll try to post it since you know I'll be up early so I'll post it so you could have an idea um of the time I'm assuming it could be 10 11 o'clock but let let's see because I don't know yet how the night is going to end. But um, again, thank you for tuning in. And definitely, you know, keep doing things that are positive, that are bringing you closer to your goals and dreams and purpose. Don't waste your time because it's not worth it. You could lose anything. You could lose money. You could lose your material things. You could lose, you know, like your home, your car. You can always get them back. But if you lose your, your time priceless you can't get it back um as usual for your health and wellness reverend dr marie let's definitely touch base tomorrow i am very excited i'm merely able to go to sleep i am really looking forward to that so let's see tomorrow um as i said you know i'll post it it's probably going to be like 10 11 o'clock and we'll see you know welcome uh Indeed, how are you, sir? Macadal. I love that name too much. You know, I can't call you anything else. <laughs> I think it sets the tone. You know, it definitely sets the tone. Um. Uh, okay, Donna. Take notes. Hi, Patrick. Welcome. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to keep it too long, as I said, you know, because it's it's pretty late. But um, I'll post it right away so you, you guys can just go see um, what I just said. So I don't keep repeating the same thing. But um, thank you so much. I'm humbled that um, at midnight some people are willing to um, jump in and you guys are up. So hopefully in the morning, I'm, and I'm going to see to some of the broadcast that are usually about that time so if they're going to be on um you know because i know that's like a, a pretty high peak time so i'll see how many things are on then maybe i'll just wait to do it a little bit later um but i'll post as i said you know i'll post the time definitely so i'm really looking forward to it hi colin welcome so I'm going to end the video, but I'm going to post it right away so you guys could just see um, again what it was said. And that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Reverend Do Dr. Marie, Health and Wellness. I look forward to see you in a few hours. Thank you. Bye. Peace and love.